options and uh, you can configure directly either from here or go to that specific uh, resource let's say if it is a storage account i can go for that specific storage account and configure your private endpoint connections so you have two options either you configure from uh, that specific resource properties and from the settings you have the private endpoint connections or you can also go for your private link and configure your private endpoints so if i just click on add here and then I'll just select my resource group here in this case I'm going back to East use and then I'll give here maybe a private endpoint specific name and there should not be any space so I'll just give and then and click on next for the resources this is where we are going to uh, check about uh, what kind of resources we can enable the private endpoint let's say I want to use this within my directory that is my Azure Active Directory uh, and then I'm going to use here a specific resources so these are the type of resources that we have and um, these are the things that are supported for the private endpoint so in our case I'm actually going to try with the storage account so I'll just click on the storage account now what happens is unlike uh, with your service endpoint where we used to get the entire storage account configuration but now if you look at here uh, with our configuration with the private link or private endpoint here you can go and configure explicitly the services so what I mean is let's say I want to just work with the file services I can go and configure the specific resources that's what we talked uh, earlier within the PPT like uh, whatever we configure that only will be granted in the private with the with the private um, link and the remaining services gets automatically blocked so I'm gonna choose here my storage account in this case I have a storage account called uh, for East uh, East region for AZ demo private endpoint that's my uh, storage account and you see here you have the sub resources so this is where you can configure uh, earlier if you remember uh, with the service endpoint we configure for entire storage account but here with the help of your private endpoint you can go and configure for a specific service so what does it means is if you're trying to configure maybe a file and also for the tables and the queues you have to do it three times that means every every specific uh, sub resource you have to repeat it you don't have a checkbox um, mechanism to you know just to write up you can configure I'm sorry for that but that's how designed within the GUI from the Microsoft so just select here file specific and uh, click on next and it's going to actually configure automatically a specific subnet uh, that we can choose here so in our case we have entire network is this so it's not going to create but it's going to use my existing vnet and now this is the time where i need to uh, go for a design con uh, consideration whether i want to use my private dns or i have my own dns if so i need to integrate i need to create the specific value within my dns zone so what I have to do is I have to go to DNS server and then create a DNS zone with the given IP address that's going to create for us as the endpoint, private endpoints. So in our case, integrate with the primary DNS. I'm going to choose only the default uh, private DNS zone information for now and I'll just go to next tags. I'm not going to apply any tags. Let's review and create. So this is the review setting for a minute you can have a look on and create so this might take a minute or so to create uh, that specific uh, resource so in the meantime if i just go to uh, by open this in another window and i just wanted to show you the resources that are available within this portal so let's go to my resource group here to my east region and if you see here there's nothing called uh, private link or private endpoint all that so it's going to create uh, in a minute or so here so it's just creating private endpoints and if I just go back here and do a quick refresh I should be able to see here 
uh, specific one for example here private endpoint which got created and this is very similar what we talked it's going to have an ip address uh, this is the network interface so the with this network interface it has assigned an ip address also if you see here so what to be done is you have to create a dns record for this specific zone with this ip address that's how you have to design your services and it's still the deployment is underway now the deployment is completed so let me go back to the resource group and uh, try to refresh and see what else it has created for us it has uh, completed and you do have here a different configuration like private endpoint which got created and also something called the uh, private dns zone has been created which is a global location so anywhere it can resolve this one and there's a record uh, which is pointed to the private ip and uh, now i if i have my own dns i have to uh, go and uh, create the specific dns zone unfortunately you have to do it for every service because as we shown within the previous article it is completely different so you have to create the number of different uh, zones and then the records that's to be created and all of your client machines that are trying to access these azure resources should point to that dns server so that dns server will have these all the records uh, with with the internal ip so what happens is they will point and they will get connected to the internal network instead of go and connect over the internet so let's say if i try to uh, check my uh, resources let's say within this resources i have my storage account for that we we have done this entire configuration as a demo private endpoint and if you see here uh, i have the access keys also what i'll do is i'll just simply uh, reconnect by here to this and this machine is not connected um, to my vnet i should be able to access without doing anything also right because uh, we didn't um, configure any way to restrict uh, so it should allow me to connect to the specific uh, storage account and uh, if i have uh, you know maybe a blobs or maybe shape folders everything i'm able to grant the access and uh, it's good but ideally the private endpoints or private uh, link share are dedicated for not to route over the internet so this specific is the not a good case of testing so what we have to do is we have to block it with the help of your storage account let's say if this is your storage account in my case it says your uh, private endpoint is my uh, that's the name of my storage account right so i'll just go here uh, from my uh, firewall and virtual network i should see that currently it is a load for all networks that's why i'm able to connect here so what i am going to do is i'm going to say that select a network but i'm not going to select any of the virtual networks that's a tricky part here so i'm not going to select any of the virtual network but if at all if you want to you know give for a specific subnet let's say uh, here maybe i can choose here my vnet and then my uh, subnet uh, I can grant here but I'm not gonna do this what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to say here select a network but no networks are available so I'm gonna save this so by doing this what would happen is um, it will not allow any of the network but internally it is already have a permission for the connection specific to the private link has been already created private endpoint has been already created so it will allow for that but not for any other vnet so if i just go back here and say uh, or try to uh, refresh here maybe like just a refresh it says that i do not have a permission so i got an error uh, straightforward here and uh, if i just try to do here also it got error from my public internet facing machine so it is not allowing for any public network now the best way is securing uh, with the private endpoint is to test again from our existing uh, private vnet uh, private endpoint machines so 
let's go back to our storage account and see uh, if I have any of the we need so if you see here this is my resource group within this I do have a we need uh, which is which we tested here this is a, a RGESU US VNet one. So this uh, VNet has already um, serviced with our configuration for the uh, private link or private endpoint configuration, right? So uh, within this VNet, we also have a VM. So with this VM, also getting the similar IP of 10 from my VNet. So it's a good test to test from this machine. So I just connect it here uh, and you see here I'm getting actually the IP address and also host name of this machine is from the US VM01. So now if I try to uh, actually try to connect directly from my storage explorer and see what happens. I'm trying to copy my connection string so that I can connect it here. So I'll just click on connect button and uh, I use again the connection string next I'll simply paste my connection string and connect so this time it gets connected for sure but it will be only for the file share because uh, we only granted for the file share we didn't granted uh, for the blobs so that's why we are getting error for the blob and similarly for the queues also we get an error but for the file share we are able to get actual files list and other information so this is how it's gonna work and if you really remember we didn't configure here even the uh, we didn't configure here the vnet also and in addition to that in the private endpoint connections we did actually gave a explicit configuration um, that should be taken uh, specific to the endpoint for only the file you see here the file and let's have a actually do a quick FQDN and see on that machine what we are trying to get so I'll just copy this and I'll just go to my virtual machine uh, within this VNet and I'll just go NS lookup uh, in fact you can actually uh, when you just NS lookup with this it's actually resolving to the private IP instead of the public IP that's interesting and uh, because this machine is DNS is configured with the Azure uh, DNS so I'm getting the private IP for my storage account in, in other way it is actually connecting to my private IP address by using private IP not over the public internet so that's really uh, useful and easy way to uh, configure and secure your private endpoints so just for the summary before we wind up this lecture private endpoints accomplish a similar task but uh, what we have done with the your service endpoint similar task it can achieve but it actually works differently with the private endpoints a virtual network interface is added like this in this case here is the private network um, endpoint NIC card has been added and uh, it will have a specific uh, private IP which is associated with your VNet. So let's say if you have already connected with your uh, VPN or maybe express route or site to site VPN all that machines also with connections can be established because it behaves very similar to other network devices since you have a network interface that's a key here some of the key points that we discussed within the lecture is all the public access for your storage accounts can be completely blocked uh, with the help of storage firewall and your internal DNS uh, resolves the storage account host name to a private IP address that we have tested uh, within our virtual network also an external DNS uh, also can be resolved to a public IP as well as to your uh, private IP also but uh, if you want to apply any of the any of the NSG that's network security groups are not applied on your private endpoints networks and outbound network security groups rules can be applied um, other network uh, resources to block traffic to private endpoints if really needed that being said for the monitoring a point you can go and uh, 
check for your private endpoints for the monitoring you can add your metrics you can even go and create a new alert if you really need it the way we do it in the monitoring section all that are applicable for this uh, specific settings and thank you for watching this entire lecture i hope this is really useful for you uh, please give me a feedback on this course by writing a simple review that really helps everyone thank you